We cannot do everything at once. Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. Here we are. Hi. Faring well, I hope. Would you care to join me? I'd not say no to a bit of company. I was hoping you'd say that. Do you know, I had a feeling we'd meet here today. Intuition, I suppose. Say, you're not from round here, are you? Are you a traveler? How I envy you. This city is all I know. I long to learn more of the outside world, but mother won't allow it. She's always telling me how dangerous it is beyond the palace walls. But after all, if the world truly is so perilous, what of the lives of our people? They must be fraught with uncertainty, subject to harsh conditions. It seems unfair that I alone should be shielded from that reality. But listen to me waffling on. <laughs> ah, I almost forgot. Here, I brought more of the money I owe you. I should have the remainder ready by our next meeting. My apologies, friend, but I'd best be going. I mustn't let Mother find out I left the palace. Thank you for indulging me. I, I do hope we'll see each other anon. Till then, farewell. Tis a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? We ought to put it to good use. keep you in my sights of prison let us endeavor to keep up though we are less fleet of foot this is not an account I can see let my magics grant you an elemental boon Execution. Let us try for the same result with our next attack.
My, my. I'm trapped like a rat in a cage. This arisen's both shrewd and fleet of foot. What? Can't you think of a reason? I'd thought you a keener wit than that. Let's just say there are some who don't want you wandering about as you please. I was to report on your comings and goings, you see. But I suppose that job's over. Now you found me out? So, how about it, friend? Will you let me go? I've no reason to trouble you any further. Understandable. Still, no harm in asking, was there? Let's get this over with then. I'll turn you into a fish My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait a moment. You there. Hold. Shit. We're in for it now. With all likelihood, he is an agent dispatched from Batal. Pray, let us handle the rest. We will hear all he has to say before the week is out. I bid you, wait till then. Yes, sir! We shall see how bold you are in irons. Do not test me. Scared the life out of me. Shall we seek out the young man from the other day? Follow me. I will guide you to the location. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. I've just recalled a little tip. We've arrived. Just. Hoi, friend! Have you any time for me today? I dare say we're overdue another talk. There's something I've come to understand during my stolen hours exploring these streets, and I wanted to share it with you. Every last resident in this city is wholeheartedly devoted to living out their lives. It seems a simple observation, I know, but to me, it was a revelation, for it made me painfully aware of my own position. Can this existence of mine even be called living when I am so doted upon by my mother? I want to live a life I can proudly call my own and to achieve it with all that my heart desires. I tire of enduring my mother's coddling and of having to mind every twitch in her face in order to appease her. Looking at this box, it fills me with courage. It is proof that I am not my mother's servant to be willed about as she pleases. It is something I obtained of my own will. Here is the last of the gold I owe you. Pray forgive me for making you wait for it. Now, I'd best be off. I may not be able to wander the city again for some time. There's aught I would do. Thus, I cannot say when next we'll see each other, though I feel sure we shall in time. Perhaps sooner than we might think. Till then, take care, friend. That was quite a gift. I hope that procuring it was not a burden upon the life. Right you are. Oh, 
Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. What did you think of that story? It was well told and all, but not particularly exciting, eh? I mean, it's the sort of thing you hear bandied about the tavern every other night, isn't it? I'd heard tell of a beggar doing well for himself, so I came out here to learn his ways. Haven't learned much, that's for sure. And by the look of it, he doesn't appear to be making much for his efforts, neither. So where's all his coin coming from, then? Makes a man wonder it does. Gather round, gather round! Aye, got some coin to spare your humble storyteller. Much appreciated. Storyteller. And should my story entertain you? No, even if it shouldn't, I would greatly appreciate a coin object to serve my fight with another battle. Now, listen close, and your focus apply to this tale of a giant who touches the sky. Our hero off forgotten by history in spite of his word. I won't walk no morning till come back to earth. In a panic he started, out the front door he leapt to behold what could approach and not as he slept. It was a mysterious figure, but be a friend or foe. On shaking legs did he approach, the better to know. Yet he did not get near, but the forehead stretched the sea. The figure was striding through waters up to the knee. Its realization explained the bizarre. What had appeared close was being seen from afar. For truly, the figure was mammoth in size, tall enough to be blinded by the clouds in the skies. One thing was certain, should it walk upon land, no city, no mountain, would outlast its hand. So he challenged his ingress, with voice loudly drawn, and in an instant, the giant was gone. Aye, in the face of his valour, the gigantic did pale, but who among them remained the leader of the tale? It was none other than Lord Rosamond, who leads the sack, is the father of House Burke, which lives up to the stand. Get around, get around, treat your ears to a tail by thumb. Aye, got some coin, it's much appreciated. Get around, get around, treat your ears to a tail by thumb, master storyteller. And should my story entertain you? Nay, even if it shouldn't, I would greatly appreciate coin to serve my throat with a mother of Now, listen close, and your focus apply to this tale of a giant who touches the sky. Our hero all forgotten by history in spite of his word. I won't want no warning to humbling her. In a panic he started, out the front door he leapt, to behold what had approached and not as he slept. It was a mysterious figure, but be a friend or foe. On shaking legs did he approach, the better to know. Yet he did not get near, but before he stretched the sea, the figure was striding from waters up to the knee. This realization explained the bizarre, what had appeared close was being seen from afar. But truly, the figure was mammoth in size, tall enough to be blinded by the clouds in the skies. One thing was certain, should it walk upon land, no city, no mountain, would outlast its hand. So he challenged his ingress, with voice loudly drawn, and in an instant, the giant was gone. Aye, in the face of his valour, the gigantic did pale, but who among them remained the hero It was none other than Lord Rosamond, who meets the sun, who's the father of House Burton, which lives on to this day. Get around, get around, treat your ears to a tail by Aye, got some coins, but much appreciated. Around, get around, trigger ease to a tail bite, the master storyteller. And should my story entertain you? No, even if it shouldn't, I would greatly appreciate it. Hold on to the sun for my throat with a mother. Now, listen, unless I am much mistaken, we have cause to visit a place not far from you. So many choices! Well, I don't have to make them! In a panic he started, out the front door he left, to behold what had approached a knight as he slept. To a serious figure, but be a friend or foe, on shaking legs, did he appear? This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. After you, Arisen! Riding through waters up to the knee. This realization explains the bizarre. What had appeared close was being seen from afar. But truly, the figure was mammoth in size, tall enough to be blinded by the clouds in the skies. One thing was certain should it walk upon land, no city, no mountain would outlast its hand. So he challenged his ingress with voice loudly drawn, and in an instant, the giant was gone. Aye, in the face of his valor, the gigantic did pale. But who among them named the leader of the It was none other than Lord Rosamond, who needless to say, was the father of House Burton, which was on his day. I guess hmm. I'm a woman of my age. I ought to ask around town. Hmm? 
What should I do? My head hurts just thinking about it. I don't feel safe here. My head hurts just thinking about it. Let me get that. Arms, arms for the poor. Pray grant those less fortunate. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. to do. We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Rejoice, my darling, for your Albert is returned. Welcome home, dear. I spend my days spinning yarns, only to come home to a wife for whose radiance I have no words. If there is a more fortunate fool in the city, I have yet to meet him. Oh, you bold-faced flatterer. The hour's grown late. Hilda's going to have my hide. Go on, have a look. Next job. 
Come to think of it, was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? We'll make our way there in time. As to whether it will be sooner or later, that is for the Arisen to decide. Right, door's locked. That should do it. I'm sure I can handle this. Watch it. I can take one. I can take one. I'll take one. I'll take one. I'll take one. Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I... by your side. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? to go on. Hail, friend! Have you a... I have an eye for people, and my instincts tell me you're of trustworthy ilk. I'm in a bit of a quandary, you see. I'm to be gone for a week, with no one slated to mind the house in my stead. Fear not. I only ask your name to list as a tenant. You needn't bother yourself with the cleaning, and I don't expect you to stay cooped up in there, neither. I'd be much obliged if you'd simply consider my home a waypoint on your travels. Sound appealing? Then come on by and have a look-see. I've taken the liberty of marking the location on your map. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. We ought to put it to good use.
I don't believe I've had the pleasure, sir. Have we some business I'm unaware of? You mean to tell me that Albert has been playing the part of a beggar? That man who would sooner starve to death than lift a finger in the pursuit of honest labor? If this is a jest, it is in very poor taste. All the same, I shall test the truth of your accusation. And who better to make it plain for us than Albert himself? I will place these clothes somewhere about the house. If he has aught to hide, his reaction when he finds them will doubtless be very telling. You may visit us again in a few days' time. Fear not. I have no intention of causing a fuss. Allow me to lead the way. I can take you to our destination by the optimum route. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. We have arrived. You've come. Glad to see you, friend. So, what say you? Would you care to live here in my absence? As I've said, you needn't worry about tending to the place. Many thanks, friend. I knew I could count on you. I'll stop by again in a week's time, but till then, farewell. We will find much better rest in an abode than out in the elements, methinks. Let us make good use of it while we can. I quite agree. A good sleep will ensure we are prepared for the morrow. Tis a perilous journey I've had arisen. When that griffin... Good morrow, everyone. Come. We've much to be getting on with. I don't know about you, but I am full of vim and vigor.
Welcome to the stage we serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you? Always a pleasure. Welcome to the st we serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you? Always a pleasure. Welcome to the stuff we serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a... Come back any time. What to make of this? Where to now? Now, who to talk with? I could have sworn I had ought to attend to. crowd, they slice on me. Well met, sir. Where's all the things like what is nice to see everyone uh, out and about? Uh, all all the best tales come from travelers. Welcome. I'm like to fall asleep. So there is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Ah, yes. Regarding your pursuer from some days past. As we suspected, he was indeed an agent from Batal. When he learnt of your majesty's escape, he began inquiring after your movements. Tis a glad thing we captured him before matters escalated. As to how he learned your majesty's location with such ease, I intend to extract the answers from him anon. I shall be sure to inform you when I do. Pray, take this. Tis the least I can offer for your majesty's assistance. So, someone saw fit to monitor you all the way over in Batal. I suppose that means you're famous, Master. Shall we make for Vernworth? Palace. Here we are. We... We shall await you here, Master. You... are the Arisen, yes? The Captain gave me your description. Follow me! one of the other guards spy you, I will be forced to play my part. Pray be cautious, your majesty.
Who's there? Pray, keep your voice low. Twouldn't be good for either of us if someone was summoned to come check on me. Could it be that you have come to bring Mother's schemes to light? Aye, Deesa is my mother. Pray forgive me for not telling you sooner. It was never my intent to deceive you. I simply feared that if I spoke the truth, none would wish to involve themselves with me. But that is no longer a concern. Tis clear that we are allied in purpose. My word! You mean to say that you are the true Arisen? That the Sovereign currently residing in the palace is a pretender? Could Mother have had a hand in that as well? Regent Kin Sven appears to be missing from his chambers. Have you seen him? Me? No, sir. Then start searching, you fool. Should aught befall the Regent Kin, tis us who'll answer to her grace. Forgive me. My absence seems to have made this rather more difficult for us. You ought leave the palace at once. This room turned up little of interest, but I've a mind to look into this further. I shall send word to Captain Brandt if I discover aught you should know. I'll head out first and speak with the Sentinels. Use that opportunity to make good your escape. Sven, where have you been? Forgive me. I thought a stroll might clear my head. Ready in talk. It's all supposed to happen. Tis a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? Ah, excellent find. much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty... How fared your mission? Was there aught suspicious to be found in the Queen Regent's office? This scrap. It was part of a letter. And from Batal, no less. This alone can prove little, but tis clear that Deezer's schemes run deep. To think... Deezer's actions have weighed even on the mind of her own son. Tis a surprise, but a welcome one. Deezer is a, the doting mother before the Regent King. If Regent King Sven is willing to aid us by drawing Deezer's focus, we may be able to gain ear more useful information. You have done well, Your Majesty. Though I am limited in the aid I am able to offer, I bid you take this. What could the Queen Regent be plotting? How very peculiar! Phasus. Now there- There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your magic- Of all those who serve the Queen Regent, there is but one who I have no doubt will lend his support to your Majesty's cause. I refer to Waldar, a magistrate. Many a time as Deezer demanded Waldor amend the Code of Vermont to her own benefit. And many a time as the Magistrate refused her, for he's loyal to none but the spirit of the law. As a result, he now sits in a cell beneath the palace. Our laws dictate that your Majesty is our rightful ruler. Thus, as the staunchest supporter of the law known to the palace, I'm quite confident that Waldor will be willing to vouch for your Majesty. What say you? Might you be willing to aid me in arranging the Magistrate's release? I've prepared a means for you to enter the palace dungeons. Pray, take this. This mission 
demands the utmost secrecy. Prithee be cautious, Your Majesty. Should you be discovered, I will be unable to lend aught in the way of aid. Pray, slow your feet. You run too fast for the likes of me. Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. Shall we get some rest then? Over here, if you please. I'm just grateful I get to lead a quiet life. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. See you. Those garments you gave me had a marked effect. Albert set off to work the moment he saw them, and he's been working steadily ever since. I ne'er thought I'd see the day. To be frank, I've not the slightest interest in the man, but he can surely benefit this city much more by performing an honest duty than by begging on the streets. In short, you've done us all a service. Pray, allow me to show my appreciation. As pawns are not permitted within the castle, I will bid you farewell when we reach the entrance. Can't remember the last time I had... Over here, if you would. I was being careful. How'd she find me out? There's a ladder here. We must rest, though the sun...